No, I have to play Rayquaza now. I'm personally fine with it, but I don't. I'd want to see Meech play anyone else. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, his game watch is definitely tricky. He knows his uh, hitboxes, his frames, all the things game watch takes advantage of. I hate it, but you know, that's just how it is. I can't see how Game & Watch would do well against Rosa, though. That's my biggest problem with this yeah. game, them playing. He's just going in. Because the one thing that Rosa generally has on some characters, being that unless she gets some dumb up air jank, she doesn't kill too early. That's a, that's a really good start for Nate. Yeah, killing Luma within the first 15 seconds. Ooh. Oh, he's just playing really well. Wow, that shield damage from the up air is actually pretty decent. It's not going to take Ray out of shield, but... Well, I guess that trade's almost dying there. Yeah, Game Watch is super light. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah, this is Rosa's game right now. Rosa... Luma already being annoying is one thing, and then when Luma's on the stage, Rosa's uh, neutral air just gets so much safety because that back hit of Luma, one, it sends you in front of Rosa, and... Oh my goodness. It came out in time. All right. It covers so much space below Rosa with that neutral there. Oh. Yep, just keeping him at the ledge for a long time. Definitely do this against Game Watch because his, his speed's very slow. Oh, that might. Wow, yeah. that killed. Even with the uh, DI he had, which was pretty good, he just died there. Yeah, it was probably stale too. Yeah, just goes to show that Game Watch is the. Uh, is he tied for lightest or second lightest? He's not the lightest. Yeah. Okay, then yeah, he's second lightest. Jigglypuff being the de facto light character. Ooh, Ooh. Just in time. Nice read. No, that's not going to confirm on Game Watch that percent. Oh, that was a good hit. Didn't kill yet, though. Yeah, Ray just retreats to that platform, so he's not getting thrown across the stage anymore by that up air. Ooh. The hardest part's going to be taking this first stock. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Got the spike hit box. Oh, only the first hit. Yeah, I want to say with um, even with just that little bit of rage he had, he might have been able to kill Ray there. Double roll. Luma's knocked up. Luma's dead. Gave her that lion tamer. Oh. Okay, with that Luma though, that back air is not gonna kill. Interesting. Oh, almost caught his recovery. Trying yeah. to catch some get-ups. He's really trying to catch him here. No Luma. Yeah, yep, that'll do it, it for sure. The shield push from that up smash just knocks Ray out of the grab range and then he just goes for the down I think tail. I saw some Ray fault. <laughs> I bet he is salty. He probably didn't see that coming. I certainly didn't the first but time I got happens, it. happens, we're going to see some extra Ray salt. Oh, my, yep, down throw to nine. <laughs> Especially with this Ray, he'll kill at zero from the opposite side. You can see TSD in the back, like, wincing when he's getting close <laughs> to getting a grab. Oh, oh, yep, that'll take the stock. Yeah, I don't, that four smash was just not optimal at that moment. Like, Raise that low percent. The forward smash, I think he would have had too much lag to even um, stop Ray from just like neutral airing him out of that forward smash, too. My problem with it is that I don't think it would have hit him if he was still standing there. Mm. Fair enough. Right. Probably just gonna run it right back. I don't think Game Watch has any stages that he's too polarizing on that um, makes it harder for Rosalima. Yep, there we go. Hopefully. Oh, I killed Luma. Yeah. A lot of characters' dash attacks just send Luma at that perfect angle yeah. where she dies. Oh. It's a good throw combo on the platform. Back air. The bacon is going to keep Ray out for a little bit. Even with him doing the uh, gravitational pull, Nisha doesn't care. He's just like, here's some more bacon. Take your nutrients. <laughs> oh, he got Luma with that. Oh, but Special she platform. didn't die. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that grab was amazingly quick. Yeah. Perfect time. Yep. Sometimes it's better to not even air dodge because if he gets you with uh, that first up air, he might not kill you. Whereas after you air dodge, he can just get that Luma up air so much easier and kill you with the jank. Yeah, this is definitely looks like Ray's Ray game at this point. Yeah. Nice air dodge so it doesn't get. Oh my goodness, that almost, almost died. <laughs> Oh my god. And he makes it back anyway. Look at that amazing horizontal recovery. I mean, vertical, you know what I mean. Oh, he wanted it. Those are both really smart smash attacks. 
Oh my yes. goodness, almost. Whoa, he wasn't paying attention. I've been pretty sad if that killed him. Same. That's gonna kill. Double jab there. Yeah, you have to be like, you either have to expect the um, what is that? The third jab and be dying amazingly to not get hit by it, or expecting the nair and be ready to air dodge as soon as that uh, double jab knocks you out there. there was nothing like See, we got Pyro and Camel. Okay, <laughs> you want to commentate this? I don't. <laughs> Pyro and Damn. Camel. Big Rick's cheering me on. <laughs> they both said that this would be a, a minimum 12 minute set. <laughs> and I've seen them play before and it's completely believable. Yeah. Neither of those characters, both those characters will try to wall you out and they will not kill early. I mean, if you see a bowling ball hit I mean, they, you. They can kill early, but they usually don't. Yeah, they go for safe options. Like I was watching uh, Panda Bear versus, I forgot what it was. Weez, I think it is. It's some, uh, there was some Wario players playing against mm -hmm. at uh, Midwest Mayhem. Panda Bear got the Wario to over 200%. Just because he couldn't kill him. 